Select item code from drop down list. Select steel item. For steel item, the type shall be T for tar steel, M for mild steel. Select diameter. Click the add button to add the selected diameter. Measurement can be added by double clicking the diameter or select dia and then drag and drop onto the measurement box. If weights are zero or to be changed, please go to steel tab in statements option and click unit checkbox then click coefficient button. Select detail. Right click to get menu. Insert inserts a new line of measurement. For steel, the selected dia will get inserted with dia and coefficient. Clicking measurements, uh, selected words of construction are available without typing. Select the count and enter count in standard form. Count can be given as a mathematical formula like 1 into 2 into 3 into 5 into bracket open 2.5 plus 3.2 bracket close divided by 2. Quantity gets calculated automatically on entry of count or length or coefficient. Dia and coefficient can be changed manually. Click the no pay button for measurement line for not for payment items. On clicking no pay button, the measurement is not considered for payment. To remove no pay, click again no pay button on the same line of measurement. Click the quantity header to sum up. Total quantity shows here. Select manage copy paste tab. Manage copy paste is useful in copying old measurements already entered. The flexibility to copy specific measurements like length and or breadth and or depth and or coefficient along with count. This is useful in copying surface measurements from volumetric measurements etc. Click this bill or old bill to view particular measurements. Select detail. Shift plus down arrow selects or deselects the line of measurement. Specific measurements like Length, breadth, depth, coefficient can be selected for copy. Message displayed as ready for paste. Click OK to continue. Measurements will be copied with the date of measurement as given above. Click date of measurement to change the date. Select the date. Select the item from drop down list. Before pasting, the item in which measurements are to be pasted is to be selected. Select the same item or a different item. Click paste selected. Message shown as paste completed. Click OK to continue. Select measurements tab. Go to measurements copied for cross checking. To change the date of measurement already entered. Select the date. Click the change date button. Message shown as date changed as. Click OK to continue. Click to scroll to right side. Check the date changed. Change of date is to be done for each line wherever required. Click the delete button. Delete is available for each line of measurement only. Click the all bills button. For steel reinforcement items, consumption of all bills dia wise will be shown in a report, which is very useful in preparing steel reconcilement statements. Report window opens with steel consumption of all bills. Click the ad hoc button to generate ad hoc bill. The ad hoc window opens. Type full value of ADAC and click ADAC button. Bill forms for ADAC bill opens. ADAC bill certification for the value entered. Click the close button. Tick full description. To display full description in bills, click the bill view button to view the bill. Click the create next array button. Create next array makes the present quantities as previous and till date amounts as previous amounts. Before creating next array bill, Please ensure the values in memo of payment are tallying with the current bill submitted to accounts. Bill generated and displayed. First page contains covering letter to accounts division. Full description in the bill view. Click to close.